Welcome back, everyone. Craig here. So this, I struggled with what to do with this video. This is actually the second time of me trying to make this video, which is really intended to clarify another video. So uh, we, Joan and I did episode 200. It's an episode that we've been kind of preparing for and talking about for a while. Uh, and it has to do with the topic of other acts. And um, it's it's something that we thought was very important. And the closer we got to episode 200, the more apparent it became how important this issue is, or at least the conversation around this issue is, in part because as our channel has grown, we've gotten more and more messages from people, confidential, but uh, about their experiences. And in fact, I, I saw one just this morning that uh, talked about just the enormous, enormous heartache and pain that that couples sometimes go through trying to live out um the church's teaching against birth control and using nfp when it can require significant um periods of abstinence and what do you do in that situation um and so other acts is i know from from hearing from people and talking to people is it tends to be an issue that many many couples eventually grapple with and uh, some uh, begin incorporating those into their marriage during the um, abstinence periods others feel um, greatly restrained or um, feel that those are not okay and uh, do everything they can to refrain from doing those things. And there is just, it, it just comes for so many people, this particular issue <clears throat> that, uh, and, and there's just a lack of, I think, clarity out there. Well, <laughs> depending who you ask, if you ask, uh, let's say, sort of more, more the traditional minded people, they think there's absolute clarity and it's obvious you should not do these things. Um, but if you get past that layer, I think there is some, some, um, room for, uh, for disagreement, perhaps episode 200 was intended and is intended to sort of capture the, um, the lay of the land currently. So one of the reasons I'm doing this video is episode 200 was nearly two hours. And, um, to be honest with you, episode 200 didn't come across the way that I had hoped it would, um, primarily because we spent the first chunk of time, I would say at least the first third of the episode, maybe close to half the episode, trying to go through and reference the various uh, church documents, encyclicals, things of that nature that seem to um, provide some guidance on what the church may actually hold on these things. And I think we skipped over some things and we didn't necessarily dig in and quote the language of some of those sections that if if we had more time or if we were focused on one episode, maybe we could have done that. So I did not necessarily feel that the discussion that we the Joan and I tried to do, which is this is not that is not a natural way for us to talk, is to sit there and and uh, discuss sections of the catechism. But I did not necessarily feel that that discussion uh did justice to the uh sort of the law itself or what's out there uh nor did i think it was all that helpful and and um maybe i'm just being too critical of ourselves um i i i want i wanted to give people a warning that if you find yourself not particularly satisfied with our discussion of what the what the rules seem to be or what the catechism seems to say. I felt the same way. And what I, what I'll tell you, and the reason I'm doing this video is episode 200, I hope will serve as a very, very important um, conversation starter and kind of highlight the main issues, what the church, what, what the church documents say, what they don't say, why they might say it. And more importantly, some of the objections or or concerns that people have about 
the um, the concept that other acts are completely forbidden. We really did not get a chance to talk about all of the uh, objections or concerns uh, or when I would say maybe gaps uh, that, that seem to be apparent in there. And so uh, episode 200, I think, was was valuable in that it really kind of hit on some of the the key uh, parts of this issue, but never really got a chance to dig in and and do a very um, fair discussion of any of those individually. So, um, I I wanted to just throw this out there because uh, I debated what to do. I gave some thought to uh, suggesting to Jonah that we re record two hundred again. But I think honestly, it would be very hard to um, accomplish episode 200 the way that I would want without a great deal of planning and editing. And it would probably be a very long video. So with that in mind, I, I hope you enjoy episode 200. I hope you can provide us with some feedback. Please know that this is not the end of the discussion. And quite frankly, this is sort of the introductory paragraph or chapter in this book. What I, what I hope and expect, especially as people provide us with feedback, suggested guests, is that we can have follow-up episodes really focusing in on certain things. And just to kind of give people an idea of what I would like to talk about, I would like to see if there's someone that's willing to come on the show and give a fairer and more complete um, discussion or explanation of what, what official teachings or statements are out there in terms of sections of the catechism, canon law, encyclicals, things like that. Um, someone that is far more um, versed in those, I would really like to talk to so that they can give a more complete and accurate depiction of what, uh, what statements are and aren't out there. So that would be one really important thing that we would like to talk about in the future. Number two, and this may be the same person as number one, but I would really like to find someone that's willing to come in and engage us and talk to us about why the church says what it does under number one. Like setting aside what statements the church has made, I, I, I really think there's there would be benefit to having a more thorough discussion as to the why. How did we get to that point? What were the what were the um sources and thoughts and, and circumstances that led to these particular statements. How much of it is dependent on scripture? How much of it is dependent on Aquinas and, and some of the other church doctors? What 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 really is the rationale, if there is some, behind these? Or maybe it's just the Pope had some inspiration and this is what uh, what the Pope said as the vicar of Christ. Those are the kinds of questions that I think would be really valuable for future episodes. So that would be the second thing. I would say the third um, category, and probably the one that at least Joan and I will be talking about amongst ourselves, but certainly would welcome guests, is, is what, what we think are um, fair and necessary objections to, to be considered, assuming they haven't already been considered, uh, as it pertains to other acts, and um, this is sort of more in uh, our uh, wheelhouse, so to speak, as the as the married men and and, and talking to people, more of the anecdotal stories that people share with us. So there's definitely going to be more discussion on part three um, between me and Joan and other and other guests, hopefully. But we really have been unable so far to find people that really are qualified and just plain willing to come in and address parts one and two. And so this is sort of an open invitation. Please feel free, free to share this video with anyone who you think might be good candidates to address parts one and two, and obviously share episode 200. So episode 200, at least for now, I haven't decided how to do this, but I'm going to, I may start episode 200 as an unlisted one because I kind of want to do some editing to it. But the link will be below, so you can click on episode 200 below, you can watch it, you can comment, you can share it, um, feel free to do so, but I haven't yet decided if episode 200 is going to be a live video, or if it will simply be a, an unlisted 
uh, video that you access through a link in the description below. Either way, uh, check out the link below. Feel free to go watch episode 200. I hope you enjoy it. And feel free to provide us any feedback, good, negative, or otherwise. Like, you're not going to hurt our feelings. We do want this to be uh, a really uh, a really good um, discussion that we have on this channel, uh, starting with episode 200. So I hope you enjoy episode 200. Sorry for this um, prolonged uh, introduction, but I thought it was warranted under the circumstances. So anyway, thank you for everyone that is listening. And until next time, everyone, have a good one.